Hello and welcome to my channel. As spooky season is right around the corner, I need my historical Halloween costume for this year. I decided to make the Haynes Pickle Lady from the 1920s Weldon's costume booklet. Okay, so I've actually chosen the costume now. It's time to show you the materials that I bought to actually make the costume. So first I have three yards of this blue tool to actually make the petticoat to go under the dress so that it can be big and fluffy and flowy. I got this elastic for the petticoat. I got four yards of this basic green for the dress. I have some leftover white for the overdress. I have some green thread to match the green fabric. I have these uh, headbands for the pickle veil so I can just put it right on my head. And then I have one yard of, yard of this white tool for the actual veil. Now the patterns that I have, I got them right out of my stash. I have this bodice pattern that I really liked. And then this big skirt pattern that I really liked. Now for the overskirt, it has a bunch of 57s on it. I don't really know how I'm going to do that. I may ditch that idea entirely, but we're going to find out. So that is all my materials and patterns that I'm going to use to create this actual costume. So I'm going to start off with the bodice. I have my patterns here in my fabric. I'm going to trace them out, cut them, sew them, make sure they fit, and then do the sleeves, and then we'll be done with the whole bodice part. Okay, so I finished cutting out all of the bodice pieces. Right there is my front bodice piece. And right there, oop, right there, is my back bodice piece. I actually cut out two of each piece because I wanted there to be lining so it could have a little bit more structure and look a little bit more full. So I'm gonna sew all of this together and I'll come back when the bodice is done. Okay. I am done with the bodice piece. It is 8.30, but I have finished it completely. Um, I did run into a problem at the beginning of this bodice. The back, I had to add two extra panels because it was not big enough, but I added them and it's fine now. It fits really good. Then I added my buttons. I did red and green, and then I still need to stitch my buttonholes, but that shouldn't take very long. And then for my sleeves, I did um, a running stitch all around the edge to give that little um, puffy look. And it is finished, and I really like it. So tomorrow, I'm going to start on the skirt piece. Okay, so it is day two of this Pickle Lady costume, and today I'm going to be focusing on the skirt piece and attaching that skirt piece to the bodice piece. I have my skirt pattern right here from my stash. And then I have my leftover green fabric. I'm going to cut out the pieces, sew them, hem them, and then add it to the bodice. And I'm probably going to add some buttons on the back so it's easier to slip into. So I have the two skirt panels cut out. I did end up having to make them a little bit smaller, which could end up being a problem later, but I think it'll be okay. So now I'm just going to sew and hem these and then add a few buttons so I can slip into it easier. 
So, I am almost finished with the green dress part. I have a few more buttons to add and a few more places to stitch up and then iron it and then I'll be completely done. The next part of the costume I'm going to work on is the um, petticoat so that our dress that we have right here will be really fluffy and big. Okay, so it is day three of this pickle lady costume and today I'm going to be focusing on the under pick. I have my tool here and my elastic and I'm kind of winging this because I don't know exactly what I'm going to do but last night I did some preparation with the tool and I cut three rectangles and my idea is to take the elastic measure down my waist and cut that piece out and then gather these three rectangles onto this elastic piece so that I can be um, bigger and puffier. So I will do all that and I'll come back when I'm finished figuring out this petticoat piece. Okay, so I just completed the petticoat. Um, it is not as big and puffy as I wanted it to be, but I think it's okay. The elastic works and I tried it on with the dress and it fits fine though. It's time to work on the last part of the costume, probably the one I'm most excited for, the pickle fit. I have a bunch of clay here that I'm going to mold into the shape that I need, which is a pickle, then paint it green. Once I'm done with the whole pickle piece, I'm going to attach it to this black headband and finally add my white tool as the veil. Okay, so I am finished with the pickle veil, which is sitting on this piggy bank right here. And then for my red gloves, I went out and got them from Party City. And then she's wearing red shoes, red flats, but I don't have any, so I'm just going to use these brown flats that I have right here. So for my hair, all I did was braid it down on each side, and then I rolled it up around my ear and pinned it. And it is done. It overall came out okay. There were a few things that I changed, like I just made the sleeves normal and I ditched the whole overskirt idea, but overall I really liked the costume. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed watching me recreate the Pickle Lady costume from the 1920s Weldon Costume Magazine. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye, friends.